These newscasts were all interrupted by earthquakes. To, um... In 2021, a couple of Australian journalists were working when an earthquake got in the way. Oh, I've never had an earthquake in here before. Michael Rowland and Tony Armstrong weren't quite sure what was happening. Is it an earthquake or a structural thing? But Rowland wasn't taking any chances. Let's go. The rare 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck Victoria and bricks from damaged buildings littered the streets. Concern hovered in the air at KBCS News in Los Angeles as an earthquake hit in 2020 at 4.29 a.m. The makeup woman grabbed the arm of host DeMarco Morgan as he and fellow anchors were preparing to go live on air. The 4.2 earthquake rattled the San Fernando Valley this morning. The quake hit just as this scientist was being interviewed. By the way, we just had an earthquake in this room. That was interesting. Uh, about literally, right, seconds before coming on live, the earthquake came. In 2021, an earthquake interrupted a live news interview in Peru. Though they were in separate locations, you can see both the reporter and her interviewee react. The epicenter of the 6.0 magnitude quake hit about 50 miles south of the Peruvian capital of Lima. Peru sits in a highly seismic region of South America by the Nazca tectonic plate. So when this happens, earthquakes aren't a complete surprise, but they can still make and shake the news. We are able to have the tests we need to our Oh my God, there's an earthquake. There's never a convenient time for an earthquake, but the prime minister of Iceland kept her cool when one struck during a live interview in 2020. Prime Minister Katrin Jacob's daughter was taken by surprise. Sorry, there was an earthquake right now. Wow. Well, this is Iceland. She was in the middle of discussing healthcare with the reporter from the Washington Post when nature quickly changed the subject. But it only lasted a few seconds and she reported everything was all right. Yes, I'm perfectly fine. The house is still strong, <laughs> so no worries. Oof, but, but sorry. <laughs> The same thing happened to the Prime Minister of New Zealand. We're just having a bit of an earthquake here, Ryan. Quite a, quite a decent shake here. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern was being interviewed when a 5.6 magnitude quake started. And when it stopped a few seconds later, she was happy to report that all was okay. We're fine, Ryan. I'm not under any hanging lights. I look like I'm in a structurally sound, uh, sound place. The damage was almost unimaginable when two powerful earthquakes struck Turkey and neighboring Syria in February of 2023. Aftershocks from the 7.8 quake brought down an entire apartment building. This reporter was doing a live shot when the aftershock hit. He fled with everyone, and when the cameraman turned around, you could see what a close call it was. Then the, then the reporter ran back to help a family emerging from the debris. In March of 2023, a Pakistani anchor delivered the news as an earthquake rocked the station. Other employees walked by the anchor, presumably heading toward safety. The 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck both Pakistan and neighboring Afghanistan. Tremors were felt more than 600 miles away from the epicenter. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.